Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in TNO The Last of the Year and which we're playing, of course, in TNO, but uh, the TCE expansion submod for the game, but we gotta talk about heroes of old. Yevdokia tested the dent between her teeth, cringing at the feeling the newly missing tooth having been knocked out when her face met the plane's dashboard. The last two hours she maintained a stoic front but the frustration simmered under her. In what world uh, would they have won against these maniacs? They didn't keep the much needed anti air at their bases to protect the planes that got turned against them when the criminals took their airports. Or they guarded the couple dozen planes the rats got away with better. Will they not have failed? Well, it didn't matter in the end. Her fingers found the shard photo Constantine she had always kept in her pocket. Bayonets, bullets, execution, at least she would see him again. <clears throat> the middle of the door slammed. Uh, uh, her softened expression hardening again, at least she would meet her and bravely. The rat king in all his debauched glory drunk entered the room, sitting down across the pilot, sighing his Iliani. Observe Yevdokia's face chuckling, screw me, sorry about the face, but the boys did have to take down your plane. Putting his hand in his pocket to take out a metal flask, placing it in front of her. Vodka, we ain't got pelon killers on hand, so that's the best I can do for now. Just get it over with. Is he only blinked? Say that again? Yevdokia. Turn her smashed face away from the flask disgustingly. I know men like you, no honor. Just so I know with the semantics and take me out. Is he only paused before taking the flask and taking a rabbit swig himself before chuckling. What, do you think we just cause we stole your plane, we, uh, we want you dead? That's a dog eat dog road out there, heck. You shot down a bomber, the, a lot of the bomber dudes, so relax. The term of hero ain't foreign to us. So, and we're currently at war with these guys here, so we're moving in. We're hopefully having a good time. Hopefully, gonna cut these guys off. We'll see. Ooh, they are attacking us, eh? That's not good, but whatever. I'm moving in and around, which is fine, and you guys go right there, too. Please do not let them move at all. Serving Civil War begins. Adolf Hitler. Of, well, that, uh, no, that one guy. Uh, he has now died, so, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the Adolf dude, yeah. That random Adolf guy that did uh, YouTube algorithm stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, oh now it's lagging, so that's why it's gonna lag super, super hard. But you want to get the mod, sub mod for yourself, please check out the first link in the description below. Cool. Uh, anything else here that we really care about yet? Uh, supply stuff's not bad. We need more, more of this, though. Weekly Vampire, that's just... How long does it last? Like, for 45 days? That's like 5 weeks. That's not bad. That, that war part's just so good, though. Oh, oh, good job, Nixon. Good choice. Oh, you guys just start beating these guys up. Nice. Stay there for now. If they want to move in, that's fine, but whatever. Oh, oh. I want to go really there, but let's get take out these guys first. We're gonna go Burgundian War. Happy October, but now really November. I'll take out Tanti Manisisk. Good. Boy, sure, it's taking a while. Do do that. If you're wondering about the bombing stop, please go right ahead. Clear skies, dark clouds. Yes. You know what? You just hang out there. They want to tear themselves out. I'm okay with that. Nice. Batov is there, huh? Yeah, it's not going to be very easy. But we can weaken them and make sure they have no extra organization. As long as let's, at least let us destroy one division here first. And if it can be that infantry division, that'd be for the best. I wish the game would just stop lagging so much, though. Come on. Oh my god, I don't. I, I really don't care about the other nations. I really do not. South Africa. Oh my god. Thank you, two. Rejoin the fight. Rejoin the fight. There you go. Everyone's gonna just hold for now. The area range is only one division, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, how many men have we lost? 8,000. That's quite a few guys, but they've lost way more than that. Smuggling network. Uh, sabotage. Loot. Looty booties, yes. 7% growth, still not bad, though. Alright, now I should be able to do this fine. Muscovy is disillusion. Let me sneaking around, maybe just a little bit. It's gonna kinda of suck. Whatever. But if you do this and cut him off completely, well, that's a possibility. Come 
because we're not making any more divisions, which is not a good idea, but whatever. Come on. They're only horses. Oh, and now time for December. And if things don't work well out for us, well, I'll, I'll change it up for us a little bit. Bata was very tough to, fight, to defeat. How are these guys not dead yet? This is so stupid. Yeah, Batov needs a little bit of a nerf. He's way too strong. So, look at all that manpower. Come on. But you know what? I might just do the rest of this one off screen. And here we're at. You can see we've not won quite yet. But my god, this war sucks. 25,000 versus 74,000. Batov needs a nerf. They really need some sort of nerf. At least compared to us, like we, there's really nothing we can do. This really does suck a lot. Um, yeah, this part's not very much fun at all. Can we even pierce them? They have, they have armor. Yeah, we can actually pierce them. That's good. So, but this sucks. My god, does it suck. Take that back. And then uh, pretty much go all in, except for you. See what you can do. You're going as well. I do have tanks. Air though, we have green air. Yeah, I don't know. Th th this war has just been—it's been a serious grind, and they just ace so much manpower and whatnot compared to us. So much. So, uh, he's, he's learning how to become stuff. He's becoming a winner specialist, which is okay. You know. So, yeah, I don't know. Some of the Batov stuff, like some of his, like laws, probably make him way better than us. Look at all this that we have up here. Oh my gosh. Mm. Got a good amount of spots, though. Smuggling network. Oh. Probably still getting better, though. Even during war. You probably would abuse that a lot. How do we. How do we not. How are we not able to push through harder? They have only a level 1 fort. I honestly do not understand Hoi Fort. Or maybe Hoi Fort is just TNO anymore. Like, we're literally at this. We're just stuck here. It doesn't make any sense. And I hate how much lag there is. Like, it, it, this literally makes no sense. These guys are not bad divisions. Like, 21 combo. I threw on some extra artillery if we had it. And yet, they're, they're able to just push us, push us, push us, push us with, uh. Not air superiority. So. There are some serious questions I have to ask here. I know our guys kind of suck, but, like, bruh. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, we're out of manpower now, too, but whatever. Uh, screw me, I deficit. We can get rid of these guys. Put a little more manpower, that's fine. We have so many guns now that we can actually sell stuff to people. But do we want to sell stuff to people? Probably not. Like, this is literally clogging up the field for us. All weapons a man can desire. When I first found it our territory so long ago, we were pitif weak, pitiful, forced to rely on Kalashnikov and his merchants for protection. But now, the tables have finally turned. Now, we are the new masters of the Taos eventually. Our troops march in the neighborhoods and the factories where all the Russians' weaponry originates from, and we shall use them accordingly. The god of the machine shall work to their fullest, and the heart of the war in Russia shall produce its weapons for once more, but for us, and only us, hopefully. You're going straight there. You're going to force the attack as well. I'm not going to put up with this crap anymore. This is incredibly stupid. Oh my god, I don't care who declares war on who. There's just so so many stupid little mini events like that. Like, does it does it really matter? Does it really matter it's that much? Instead of popping on the center, they should have a little a feature on the right side saying just, oh, hey, just like how they, they have achievements and whatnot. Oh, this is who uh, is at war with now. Not right in the center of the screen. You're gonna force attack again. I don't care. I'm sick of this war. You stupid pieces of garbage. Look how many Russians we've had to kill. Just look. Oh my god, I don't care about Germany right now. How many have we killed up? 150,000 of them? My god. Absolutely insane. But it gives them more time for growth. Occupy them. And the Taos, or what's uh, the Taos, or these guys. Good old Mario here. Hmm. Hopefully it's not. Oh, they have no guns already. That's nice to see. A decent amount of manpower. Uh huh. But we can just want. Oh, Parading Svedlusk. 
Our boots now thread uh, the streets of Sverdlovsk, the capital of the former Soviet army situated here, and recruits are, um, from them are plenty. Therefore, to commemorate a rise in the city of war, we shall do a military parade with the best and brightest that our, our army has to offer, and with all the newly captured equipment taken from Rokosovsky's useful idiots in full display. Right now, we have no war exhaustion. Scavenge? That'd be nice. Look how 50 political power to sell stuff, but the bandit and the soldier. But Baltov sighs, he looked at his Zuliana, the great pecan grinning back at the general. So what do we have here, hmm? No uniform clad lads to throw at me, Zuliana swiggled from his bottle, chuckling. Baltov clenched and unclenched his fist, his expression darkening. I will not let you rule these people, you darn scum. This is all farce, a disgusting farce. <laughs> Is Leone listen carefully, placing the bottle next to the table leg and observing Bata with an interested look. You surprised me, old boy. Bata's lips uh, turned into a thin smile. Blokin cursed me because I was a bandit. The Roganov never intended to continue working with me. To him, I was used to a hammer to swing around at his possible enemies. The stupids in the three aviators just had nothing to fight back with. But you? Is the chuckle. You are, you, are, you, are, you are led by the people? Bata lifted his eyes. Uh, his jaws clenched. Yes, in the end, I shall serve the Russian people, because that is what the military is for, darn it. Not for kicking people down, not for terrifying them into submission. It is to protect them, and I will not let scum like you suck the lifeblood out of the nation. Is Leon listen before going quiet and looking to the side, scratching his bearded cheek? You're a weird one, you are. Ha! Huh. I suppose we can work with that. Look at Pecan Sapport, staring the general in his eye. A thief's word means a lot in this world, old boy. I promise to work for the people if you work for me. We need expertise after all. Bata outside, looking away. Is Leon picked up the bottle and slipped from his table. I'll give you time to think, old Bata interrupted. If you, if you say it's true. So right now, let's take a look-see. We yeah, we weren't incompetent. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Right now, they were uh, t using, like, 50% more organiz- 10% uh, more organization, 50% more attack and defense, 5% more recovery rate, 15% more planning speed, or uh, max planning, 25% more planning speed. Uh, we, they actually had 0.1 more political power because of this, 10% more air power, or air attack, air defense, air agility, and Navy stuff, and whatnot, but if you say what is true, Good Bata, man. He's so strong. He's too strong. But whatever. Uh, these guys are next. Hopefully we can... An ult uh... How many days until we go to war with these guys? Fifteen? In with the older. Anatoly Cherkasov dropped the wrap out of the corner of the room like a student drops a school bag after a long day, nodding to the great pecan and then acknowledging Bata with a confused look. Afternoon, sir, what have you called me in for? Is Leon is laid back in his armchair, his boots up on the desk, although he's slightly less drunk than usual, eyeing Anatoly with a smirk. Well, let's rip the splinter out, Cherkasov, you're demoted. The great pecan's words rippled through Cherkasov. Cherkasov, the casual pronunciation of the life-changing order fulfilling him with even greater hopelessness. Well, sir, I, from now on, you're not my security minister, you're a general. Now, screw up, that's all I had to say. Sir, I served. We took Burkutas, a talus, I don't understand. As Leon's expression changes, he sat forward and stood up, rolling open a map, lines all over it. See, that's why you're going out, told you. You don't understand anything. As Leon's hand went over the map before slamming a fist down on the piece of paper. This was your operation to take Zotalos, and guess what, told you, I had that man. As Leon's finger lifted, pointing at Batov. In your seat, we'd have taken it faster, safer, and cheaper. That's not a maybe, told you, you're a crappier. You're just crappier. So if you were to argue, shut your stupid mouth, and be happy that your skills are enough to keep you as a general, got it? Cherkasov turned from red to blue. A snow white pale. So, certainly, sir. And it lifted his eyes, nodding to Bata. Good, good luck. The ex security minister stumbled out of the room, forgetting his rifle. A short silence. Bata opened his mouth. That was one way to dismiss a minister. Is the only grimace, sitting back down in his armchair, for all my love, when it comes to the army. Generals over bandits, for sure. Hopefully, they can make it in time. Which they should. I mean, we're in mountains here, pretty much. Yeah. Give them a little bit of organization, they'll be fine. Come on, oh my god. Just get over there. And they're full strength, but we're going to go to war with these guys anyways, so... Bear loot, that'd be nice. Two men is probably relatively strong. And happy August. We got a lot of stability in Warsport, though, which is really nice. Hey, we got him, nice. Come on, let's go. How did you make it that fast up there? These guys are. Uh, we'll see. Oh, there goes President Ken Kennedy. Goodbye, President Kennedy. 
The more of the militia they have, the better. Just take that card again, so you cut off all the supply lines, basically. It's pretty nice. 36% supplies. Uh, we have. N uh, we can go ahead, and this one's not bad. I like that a lot because we always have enough political power. Um, rally the recruits. I don't mind increasing discontent for more supplies. Because this stuff here is not bad. Political power and weekly manpower gain. Even more political power, though. I like that one more. One more. Mm, that costs 50 political power. I don't really want to do that one, though. Hey, you want to read about us capturing the plant? Please go right ahead. Uh, schools, sure. Nice. Two men? Very good. Can I capture two men proper? But that's alright. They are not. Oh, they're fighting the blacks. So they're black league too, eh? They lost a lot of guys. Okay, that makes a lot of sense why they can't do anything here. I guess to the capital. World our development. Do we need anything else? We're kind of okay for now, though. Lens body captured. Nice. Better guns, which is something that we could really use. Yeah, we did get enough guns eventually, which is nice. What the heck? Bruh. That's stupid. That's so incredibly stupid. Honestly, at this point, if I have to use cons commands for this, I'm going to just use cons commands. I hate I hate these people. I hate the black, severe black. They, we should have, Sometimes I like it, sometimes I hate it. I'll be honest, sometimes I hate it, sometimes I love it. They have so much manpower, my god. Let's see what we can do. Go in. Like, seriously, go in. This is so incredibly stupid. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use consequences probably. Because I, I don't want to deal with all the BS here. Because we should get at least some of this territory. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are they attacking to Oh my god. Yeah, this is turned into a giant mess. You just get down here. You just cut off the rail, the rail lines. That's literally all you have to do. You can all attack two men and do well. What are you doing too? Oh my god, I hate this. This got better industrial equipment though. This is just a bunch of crap. So I'm going to deal with this off screen a little bit more because I, I'm, I'm going to make sure the Talos cannot take anything here from the Black League women to kill them off. Uh, let's see, two men cut again. We should own this one already. Two men in their hands. We should send the Stalinists and their fiercest supporters to where they belong. These people are the worst kind of scum. While we may be killers and thieves, we do it for the glory of wealth and the hunt. While they ignore, ignorantly strive for the brutal and moral teachings of a long dead man, they will be subjected evil by evil, uh, a fate most deserving of them, in the dark alleys of Omsk. Everyone has lost someone of their own to the Germans in the West. Mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters. Even if we pay these note deep in our hearts. Omsk is the culmination of that hatred. An entire people serving the higher-ups for the sole purpose of a genocidal goal against an entire Germanic race. And now we've entered the heart of it all. We'll take the precious resources and weapons that we have prepared for the so-called Great Trap, and we shall loot every last penny there, and dig the officers of the Black League their own grave. Well, Omsk is no more, my god, was that a pain in the butt, but shattered hammer. Lazarka Gundam, which had once been a man that struck fear across the heroes. The entire city of two men wore loyalty exclusively to him, for his orders were followed by all. The sea bill could never fall, for they believed in true communism. That was the case until the thief territory proved him wrong. Yugra thoroughly destroyed his nation, and his government was now dead and in custody. Kaganovich himself was being led away from his cell in solitary confinement. A horrible little closet full of mold, rat, dung, and other filth. The communist dream would be seemingly end here in this courtroom. A jury rig holding cell turned to courtroom, assembly and assembly in an empty hall of the prison. 
Where it surely sees him. His jailers uh, roughly dragged the former general secretary to the dock. I wouldn't share that he was properly handcuffed to you. He had no expectation that the trial would be fair. Just as the Yugurins had done with their other state endings, the biggest thief of them all was there to pass the sentence himself. Lazar Gaganovich, you have been found guilty of murder and treason against a thief territory. Your sentence is death. A bullet went through his mouth before he could open it. Shortly afterwards, Nikita Khrushchev, another member of the Kaganovich government, was dragged into the block and handcuffed by the same, the same bloodstained share. Friends, friends, I'm sure there's a misunderstanding here. Obviously, old Lazar was a traitor, but surely we can settle on this neutral gr Khrushchev came out swinging, but was quickly shut down by Zuliani. We're not open to negotiations with Khrushchev. We're interested only in your death. Khrushchev, seeing that his end was here, relented. I prefer an open casket, if that's all right. Better dead than red. And we're doing this one, like we said earlier. And in the, uh, all the weapons of bank of desire. <clears throat> When we first founded our territory so long ago, we were weak, pitiful, forced to rely on Kalashnikov and his merchants for protection. But now the tables have finally turned. Now we're the new masters of Latal, so our troops march in his neighborhoods and the factories where all the Russia's weaponry originates from, which shall use them accordingly. The gods and the machines shall work to the fullest in the heart of war, and Russia shall produce his weaponry once more, well, for us and only us this time. Which I think I read earlier, but whatever. Black Dusk. Which, don't get me wrong, I like improving poverty immediately right now. And why not, but still. Vegnitogorsk. Are these guys? Uh, we're gonna go to war soon enough. I'm not gonna do that. So, the great trials now pipe dream. Yazov has uh, failed to destroy Germany and avenge Russia. Yazov, the great leader of the Black League, now disheveled, was a shell of his former self. He failed to defeat a rabble of mere gangsters and thugs. This was an embarrassment for the heart of an ultra militaristic uh, Black League. Now Yazov and his loyal officers were at the mercy of Yugurov's gangsters and the ruins of Omsk. Many of Yazov's fellow officers were defiant of the gangsters even at gunpoint, yelling obscenities and insults at their captors. Yazov, however, accepted his fate. Izzelian, who was observing his men with the captured Black League leadership, gestures his men to take Yazov to him and execute the others. The men obliged, taking Yazov to him while the others are forcibly lined up to the one gun down. You know, I admire your resolve and dedication, Izzelian, he says, impressed by the Black League and their zeal in fighting their enemies. Yazov says nothing. Clearly distraught of the defeat of the Black League and how the Great Trial will never happen. Hey, don't give me that look. Maybe in another life I lose and you succeed. Just kill me, I can't live with this failure. The defeat of Glavkarovic states. Isleyan obliges and holsters his TT38, TT33. At the same time, he takes a pack of cigarettes. Cigarettes? Isleyan offers, handing Yazov a cigarette. Yazov reaches out with his hand. The stolen trial. But oh well. Their problem. We should be fine here, except for Zatal's proper. We're gonna go in. I'd probably lose to get to them, but whatever. Connor's doing not bad. 9% growth, that's pretty good. We actually have a pretty good deficit. Go figure, man. Oh, hello. Even better. I just scavenging for more loot. Actually, how far is this up? <coughs> oh, look at that. We have more production units. Finally, uh, we're gonna go with ten there, and then more there too. Because I eventually want planes as well. We will need some uh, cats and fighters, but whatever. All right, should be good to go now. Two days left. Okay, more caravans. I really think we're going to lose all that by the time we go to war. Uh, the next stage. Just go, 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 go. It's insane to attack this area, but we just got to do what we have to. Um, Get that speed. Now they wanted to leave there, but now they're not so strong. As we're trying to move in from the north as well. Peace conference? Ah. The Oba Regierungs in Poland. On beside side with Italy. Civil War in Indonesia. Oh well. What else is new? Especially in TNO. Cool. Oh, we more. Yeah, I'll get more manpower if we can. That's always more important right now. Political power is important. Don't get me wrong, but still. What are you doing? What in tarnation? They left their capital open, bro. Bro. Peace out. It's only 965. They already have peace? Oh, look at that. We got the so arms five. They actually. Peace. White peace out almost, basically. Okay, well. That's still not going to have repercussions for the future. Okay. Um, well, occupy them. 
our greatest victory. We finally done it. All the Western Sabir from Vorkut to, to Omsk is finally ours. It's a great day for us and our comrades who have served valiantly for their deserved riches and glory, but there's so much to be done. Our region may be secure, but there's still the rest of the motherland to conquer. Much as Moscow and Petrograd, but no matter. We fought to the death for our goals and we shall do it again, and soon the flag of the thief territory of Ugra shall be flown over the Kremlin itself, and all the world will tremble before us. Nice. Addition, uh, remove conscript the rabble. Nice. We can smuggle weapons? Well, I mean, what, what, why do we need smuggle weapons when we own the weapons? Oh, now we can raid them. We can beat them up with our lunch money. Death of Ol Ol Oligopoly. Hot Kov could not stop trembling. Could cry, just be, 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 be a man. Even whispering insults to himself to the man didn't work. His mental state seemed to be fair and the worst in the group he'd set, that was set against a wall. Some of them could not, he could not recognize, but others were sheer magnates. Fazulim, considered one of the main bankers of the Tats, and seemed to mind the uncomfortable position against the black wall, and said, looking up thoughtfully at the gray sky. Kozlov, the owner of several steel local uh, manufacturers, also seemed to be calm, writing something in his journal, his hand moving gracefully across the page. And then... Harikov, what do they want from him? He was a confectioner, a small one of that. He's a nobody, just sold sweet to Ranzlatas, exported a bit of comey before that one turned into a mess it was. What did they want? Try not to panic, he bit into his nails as several band of guards entered the small courtyard, machine guns over the shoulders. One of them, with a facial scar, looked over the list in his hand, looking up at the businessman. Anyone less than half a million rubles profit? Wait, half a million? Harikov never made beyond a question. A quarter? Me, 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 he shouted anxiously, waving his hand, followed by several others in the line. Well, come forward. A Scarface grin, waving them behind the line of machine guns. Harkov, not sparing a second as he power walked past the guards up to Scarface. So what do you do? Scarface took out a pen, looking at the confectioner and several other nobodies in the line be behind him. I'm, I'm a confectioner. A confectioner? There was a clack behind Harkov's back, and he found himself jump as a thundering roar of machine guns blasted into his ears. Yeah, we'll need those, I guess. A Scarface slammed the slip, pushing into Harkov's hand. Free to go, now screw off. As the confectioner walked out, his heart nearly bursting, he gave one last look behind him at the, the ones left in the line. Faye Zulin's body sa sagged against the wall, his expression calm and unreadable. Just happy I'm not you. Some more weapons, but we're going to save our political power for all that stuff there. Upon arrive, the Ragnarok sat in a cell, grunting thoughtfully, but thoroughly. Thoughtfully. There was still a delivery contract that some warlord was expecting Western Russia, and while at this point it probably did not matter, it sends a professional zone kept bugging him through the night. Nice. Hmm, he raised an eyebrows at Kalashnikov, then lowered them again. They were about the same age, but unlike Kalashnikov, Dragunov didn't really have a family. In the end, he supposed it was his own fault. Mishka Kalashnikov uh, <clears throat> looked at him, the exhausted look on his face wrangling at Dragunov's soul. Sorry, Mishka, this is my fault, Dragunov sighed, rubbing his face. Christ, why did I have to take, make contact with those bloody bandits? Should have taken more foreign mercury or something. That's fine, Gina. Kalashnikov's voice sounded hollow, not like you could have foreseen this, and... Besides, we were both there when you made the decision, not like... Not like when you shut me up, although I was using them was a good idea. Well, still, the ragging up went quietly, heard some noise. Tap, 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 tap. The sound of boots, soldiers, the creak of the metal bolts, the door opens, Kalashnikov out. A small arms designer pushed himself up, his face was pale as snow. As he approached the doorway, gave one last look over his shoulder, the ragging up nodded to him. See you around, Mishka. See you, Gina. A true miracle, but the unlikely victory. After years of fighting, we've achieved what no other country on earth thought possible. You can control over the western Siberia. Vorkutas, Letas, Zverdlosk, your men and arms have been destroyed, subjugated, and integrated into the thief territory. And our small warlord says now a flood new world, world power. Let us celebrate, we must prepare a feast. Ah, I love all this stuff here. Nice. Oh. We want to do that one too, but we'll do that one later. Destruction's okay. Destruction expertise. Um, let's make sure we definitely get poverty. And hire foreign instructors. This one's not super important. We can still do that if we really wanted to. I don't think there's anything else here we really need, really need to concern ourselves about. Ooh, this one's very good too. Um, regarding. That's good as well. Ooh, we're gonna run out very soon. Um, regarding uh, uh, all this stuff over here. Like wars. So. We can honestly probably just go and cut you guys back down to. This? What a true miracle. The noise shook the bar. The soldiers drank and sang, and the girls danced on the tables with the guys. The gang leaders were discussing business at a separate table. Among them were Usuyam, Usuyani, and others. They're very nice bunkers at Omsk. Uh, can we use them as headquarters? Surely there's some weapons there. We'll search, find them to sell, maybe to the Frenchmen or whoever they are, said Usuyam, drinking into the glass. All right, gentlemen, I'm going outside. Java leaving the building. Leave the building, lit a cigarette, and began to look around. A dark, starry night. <clears throat> Right in front of him was a residential neighborhood built up under Bukharin. There were lights in the windows, but the streets were empty. A small Soviet town, it is in his power. It's a, and he took another pool. He remembered the gulags, he remembered Blok, and he remembered the frigid or rigid prison system. But now he's the king of the system. 
He rules everything, and he can do more. The thoughts of greatness invigorated Jabba the, through the horns, the thorns of the stars, from dirt to princes, from nothing to everything. Jabba took several deep pots of a cigarette again. I had finishing smoking. He threw the butt away near the cigarette uh, entrance to the bar, adjusted his cap, checked his gun, and went into the bar again. It's time to celebrate properly to get back to business again. Zavodi Sharmanko. Nice. So we won't well, definitely do with this one, so we have to give it a little more time. Oh, this was a war. There's hope in the future. Hey, more stability. Nice. Can't really use it though, but that's okay for now. And um, how much political power do we get a day? Two over two. Nice. That's good. A little bit of lag. Uh, this was bloodless. I guess. Ooh, where is it? Excuse me. Come on. Construction. It's not bad. It's not bad either. Weekly stability. I don't mind doing that one, but I would say for this one as well. Yeah, this one's really good. To be sweet. Let's say we're political power. We don't need to do any of these for now. We have enough power, which is good. Um, yeah. You know, we're going to need to drastically increase everything that we have here with everybody. Um, because these guys are decent, but the real inf. Well, they're real inf. Nice. Uh, we'll throw some recon on if we have enough army XP. I might go with support anti tank as well as support anti air, but we'll see. Oh. And we need this too. Yep. Against all the odds of thieves uh, and law. Uh, of you could have uh, <clears throat> have descended from the territories in the Frigid North um, of Russia to the entire region of Western Siberia. Though a number from the start, these these fought, struck, and bribed the way from prisoners and rulers. So far, we know a little about the peculiar state and its future. Today, out of the Great Pecan, the newly declared West Siberian thief territory, a Georgian by the name of Java Izuliani, has announced that the thieves ultimately help to reunify all of Russia and become its protectors and saviors. Already, they begin to open their borders of trade. It seems that they're hoping to make a great deal of money in their new positions. Where are the police? We are the police. The Victory Feast. Meat, cheese, fresh vegetables, all the food of West Siberia is at our fingertips. All the food calls for one thing, a feast. We'll get very gourmet morsel. Every gourmet morsel. Every choice cut, every bit of good food left, and eat all of it. Prepare the tables, the chairs, all of it must be made ready for a piece of feasts. God bless the West, West Siberian Thief Territory. God bless Russia. Beautiful. Hey, minus 0.15 already. That's pretty good. Not bad. Even though o overextended administration really sucks. But what what are you gonna do about it, right? Church political thought, construction, power grid. No, the power grid is not a bad one too. The unlikely victory. Unforeseen developments. And of course, it seemed that their pride proceeded to fall. Another player, Aslan Usoyan, has shown his face. The Kurdish spiders decided he'd be a better leader than Isoyani, and shown his hand as we speak. He's beginning to make moves against the government and towards his own quest for power. Who should rule? The Pakan of Pakans or a new face, someone with his own vision for the future? Have to wait and see. Nice. Mm -hmm. Caffeine flow, nice. Oh god, Camarobo. I hope the WRF doesn't win. It looks like they are going to, because it can be very difficult to fight, so. Jabba for now. I know he's in now. The gang have banished Rush to the Hall. They're carrying expensive liquor, most of them already drunk after looting and drinking most of the alcohol they found in an old warehouse. As they sat down in a large dining hall, the realization of their achievement set in. They went out to conquer to celebrate such an occasion. A feast, the old Nikolai shouted. They remembered hearing stories of old kings holding massive feasts for important events. The man agreed. They wanted to feel like the stars of old. And they could go. F they could find would go for it. They slaughtered cattle, looted more liquor stores, and gave rave, grave the most extensive cigars they could find. They're going to down the like kings, and nothing was going to take this joy from their hands. Nostrovia. Our future, even with an active power struggle within a government, we still have a country to run as the sole controller of a good part of Russia. We now have many, many mouths to feed, and many new thieves, soldiers, and officials to play in the potential to forge a new free Russia. So, advanced developmental subsidies? Oh, you betcha. So now, where are we at with all this stuff? 22.2% still. Oh man, that growth got hit hard. My god. We actually have Eurasia Plus now, too, which is kind of radically different. 0.31 billion. That's not bad. That's radically different, but growth is not very good at all. Hmm. Not decent enough. But it'll improve once we. Wow, minus 0.3. That's pretty decent. Not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Everything's going up. Love it. 
170. Yeah, nice industrial base. Oh, I've seen developments though. It'd be good to get rid of that one. This is Leon. He stumbled out of the hangar where another victory piece was being held. The doubling over and vomiting, the alcohol running through his veins, expelling itself. Then I was silent and dark, aside from the shots and lights coming out of the hangar door. The grip of contents up hearing the crunch of footsteps behind him. His hand quickly finding his pistol and looking over his shoulder. Ah, uh, oh, Raphael. He's really on his face, as stony as he straightened out and looked around. Checking for people listening in, and silently pushed the door closed, nodding to his underling, allowing him to speak. Raphael's eyes he started around. Job, we have Lucian's accountant under our control. Uzi the uh, face lit up as he slurred. Uh, well, all these stuff. Just a little more than that cursed nigga will show his head. Job, the Pecans are making moves. If I look to be specific, he's still going. Some are stealing weapons, some are deviating from patrolling routes, some are setting up bases where they aren't supposed to, and the single person all goes back to his Usuyan. I think it may be the beginning of something big. Izzyliani looked off in the dark, the haze of alcohol quickly being replaced with a cold determination, and boy, Raph, get my coat. What? We've been waiting for this opportunity, Raph. That darn cur is going to get his due. All of them are going to get to their due. The great pecan stride lost any of the drunk slowness as he walked away from the hangar. Raph, we're going to snake hunting. Our duty to the people. Our duty to thieves. Our duty to Russia. We're a real coach, you know, so let's act like it. Operating as simply as armed mobsters may have worked when we all had was Yugura, but we've got thousands of miles under our feet. We need a defined structure for our government, for the sake of our people, our government, and for the world stage. Ah, now we have the struggle here. Vienna struggle. Influence zero. Influence zero. The power struggle. The craft forming the divisions begun. Jabba is Liani, the great Pakan, the visioner, the man of the people, the military man. His men are in the top rungs. His officers are on the military. Their names are on plaques and official lists. The crown rests on his head as his tendrils sneak through the land, tying everything back to him, the Georgian wolf, his fangs grasping region to region, trying to hold his allies together with a shirt with a shirt by loose grip. Idealists love him, a pragmatist tolerate him, the average of war via Zakon respects him. There will be a place for all gangsters if they have the wit or strength for it. On the other hand, Aslan Uzoyan, the businessman, knows his truth. That thief and his city can never be equal. The Kurdish spider's financial webs have been built up to the regions, each vibration of his business is webbing, giving Aslan more and more confidence in his power. If on, he wants each gang each gang on its own, Aslan shall have their powers under him. If Izzuliani wants civilians to join the ranks, Aslan will not tell her that the men will join the farmer. If everyone is a thief, then no one is. And now, we must choose, as we just read, basically who we're going to choose, and obviously, I'm, I'm maybe not obviously, but I want to go with Usuyan. We, I really want to try to see what his path is like, as we've been trying to build him up, actually, more than Izzuliani, so let's side with Usuyan. So we're still doing very well with everything else here, but now we have this whole thing over here. Uh, meet with unloyal pecans. Raises Usuyan's influence by a small amount. Denounce Izuliani. Make promises to the bandits. Ooh, you get more civilians. That's really nice. Arrange an accident on the clock. Search for foreign aid. Well, let's do this one. This would cost the most, so it's probably the worst one to do. Hello, assistance. The Far East medal. That's all they want. Usuyan hummed a little. The Japanese is certainly a cheap. He was stood near his commander. Side eye in the contracts they had received in huge bund bundles. The Kurdish spider now having staff for several hours, staring over the demands that came with, with the aid. Well, Usuyan stamped the document, one of the many dozen he had already gone through. Their equipment will carry us if we, ours won't. Ilo cleared his throat. Maybe look at the, an American letter? I think there were quite a few simple ones. Certainly, certainly, Usuyan pulled one of the sheets before snorting and taking out a blank piece of paper and writing something on it. Sir? Usuyan's handed the two sheets back to Ilo, chuckling. There, send them this. This should work. If it isn't too much, what exactly? Oh, nothing actually impactful. Some promises to reform, nothing actually important. Cool. End of the struggle. Oh, well. Um, Usuyan is subverting our actions, and then the government takes action. Power struggles around the country into a period of instability. The Pakans are scheming, the bandits are killing each other in the streets, and the most order is lost. During this time, major accidents will happen, and the balance of power may shift. Thinking about tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I read this one earlier, too. So, Pakans, I did read Our Duty to Russia. So, if you want to read this again, please go ahead. But, this is Liliani. looked at the coin he twirled between his fingers, flicking it to the table, spinning it with a small ring before slamming it down, repeating the same motion over and over as his thoughts drifted for the first time in the many years he had been Pecan, even before he gained a it gained a great and got a capital letter. The truth of the gulags were simple. You get the oil and power, get the strong under you, and make sure you, you, your suck-ups keep their heads down. It was easy to be a Pecan if you had the strength for it, but being the great Pecan? He thought for a band of aimless men with fists and weapons, now he had to command an army. But before he just needed to feed himself and his goons for a day or two, the files on his desk talked of tons of flour and rice that would go to women and children in the cities. When before a mistake could worse lead to a couple of kicked in heads, now a nation bounced on a razor. The great pecan slammed the coin down again and looked at the surface. The face of Nicholas II staring back. A rare keepsake that one of his thieves found in the ground in Forkuta. His Liliani blinked. For a small fraction of a second, the face had displayed the rotten tsar morphing into his own. Smiling victoriously, the great pecan looked at the coin again and smirked. Glory did not wait for him to get comfortable. It ran ahead, and it seized, and he laid catch up. Pass for coded cards, pass the comments and the Omskavite fanatics, pass the competition. Is Liliani continued to chase that spark? Glory did not wait for anybody. Is Liliani stood up, flipping the coin and stuffing it into his jacket pocket. So continue giving the chase. 
raise our influence, more war sports. Raise Israeli's influence. Oh, you can actually get growth with him. That's cool. Um, our duty to the, uh, the thieves. The thieves in law are by far the most important people in our territory. They're by far the most affected by our decisions, and we must work to aid them at all costs. We're cutting you off. What do you mean he refuses? Israeli stood, stood up. His expressions changing from the usual self assuredness to a terrifying grimace. But Raphael, unconscious, took a step back at the look, forcing the words out of himself. He said there were not enough ammo in the depots. Even if we got, he got a new batch, it would take too long to transport. <clears throat> The Great Pecan smashed his fist down on the table. B.S. He lied. I don't know if I cannot disagree completely, but uh, he cannot let Israelites storm out and do something overly, overly violent. Our borders did expand, sir. Screw your borders, laugh. We never had problems with garnering emergency equipment. And Amber and her boys were on the back foot in a raid. And now, suddenly, that darn turret has given us a raid of silence and then no apology? Am I supposed to effing swallow that? Israelian sat down again, fuming, putting his thumbnail between his teeth as he considered something. <clears throat> so Raphael calmed a little of the silence, but seeing Israelian state was disturbing. I want that dude to drown in paperwork. Pardon? The Great Pecan lifted his eyes, his voice threateningly low. Drown that dude. Paperwork, security checks, the boredom of, and vandalism off the patrolling soldiers. I don't care to make his company choke on the thieves' territories. Give prime passage your supply trucks. Suffocate that darn patriot. On the clock. Those of you on stare at the clock absentmindedly recounting the reports he was given on Arseny. Little dude pockets some profit. Fifteen minutes to ten. A small time Pecan Arseny Voronov entered the bar exactly at the same time as, his, as per schedule. Those of you on blinked as the minute clock moved one unit forward. Forward. Four minutes to ten. He ordered a plate of soup, any and some crappy beer, another unit. Tick, tick, tick. The cook rubbed his eyes, looking up at the clock expectantly. The cook, a lovely woman behind the counter, goes to fetch the two. The arthritis does slow her down a bit, but he had accounted for it. Three, three minutes, thirty, three minutes. A bowl of lukewarm soup and some beer. The small timer. Takes the usual waft of it, as he does habitually, then takes the spoon and begins eating. Uh, the delivery guy arrives through the back door with a box of beetroot. One that looked like a little damaged, but nothing too suspicious. Uh, two minutes. Usian fell a little giddy as his eyes on moving out the clock's face. Um, the driver places the box behind the counter, then offers the bar woman a couple of cigarettes. The two walk out to smoke and reminisce. <coughs> tick, tick. Come on, Usian mouth. One minute. The small timer continues eating his crappy soup, not hearing the ticking coming from one of the small boxes under the counter. Ten o'clock. Usian blinked and rubbed his eyes with his hands. It about, takes about a minute to get to the nearest phone booth. Ring. Usian picked up the phone. Yes. Our city problem's been taken care of. Perfect. Usian placed the phone down, looked up at the clock, grimacing slightly. Three. Ten oh three. A little off schedule. So you can do this in 69, so. We got time. By a moderate amount, huh? Our duty to Russia. Cool. What? Home organization, attack and defense? Love it. Duty to the people. Favorite Uzzalianese loyalists. Redolid provinces. Favorite our clique. We get more political power here, too. Dreams of centralization and homes for thieves. As we have a cup of, cup of coffee and some comms to go through, too. Ah. Uh, you know, more political power. Aslan Usayan is the man we need to save our na nation. He already effectively controls this nation. The useless, lethargic Java Isliani is the only thing standing between him and forging the, of a new thieves dictatorship. We must work to remove the unworthy leader and establish Usayan as our Pakan. This is going to drain a lot of political power, unfortunately. Uh, we still have to be really supposed to, oh, it's decent. But, some comments include, I really hope the Brotherhood of St. George gets a focus soon, a focus tree soon. Um, I really want to play as a theocratic Russian state. That sounds like a lot of fun. Apparently in the future for this mod, they're also trying to get a sane Taboritsky path. So that sounds like a lot of fun, too. I can't wait. Dreams of centralization. The potential to become a proper nation of thieves is there, right all in front of us. All we have to do is set up our nation in a way that enforces the hierarchy we need to survive. A good way to start is to move towards government centralization. Reduce local governance, restructure some bureaucracy, and most importantly, get rid of the opposition. Absolutely. So what are we supposed to do here when we do all of our actions already? Get more output. Definitely get more output. Get a little more stability too, that'd be nice. Making promises. I try not to break too many of them. Uh, someone else says, I can hear a song again. Play Buturka. Shari Supervent Blessed Bandit State. So it says, Can you do Ibuka's reconciliation ending? Um, and, you know, as Guangdong? So it says, someone says, in a response, We need Ibuka. We have fun and games with Yukura Bandits. That's also very true. Um, I, do want, I do want quite a few of these, but we gotta make sure we have enough guns. So we're gonna go with like three, and then two, and then three, and maybe three. We're gonna need a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> And a crap ton of casts. And we'll go three there, and then we'll go three there. This one could be the bottom. Favor his clique. They're aimed at centralization. 
A home for the thief. For the thief. Our territory is meant for us, the thieves, the people, the Russians, the Eurasians. All of us make our home here, and it belongs to no one other than us. The thief territory can be, will be, must be the home of the thief-in-law. <coughs> Excuse me. Any more regional development? No? Okay. How are we building? There's a lot of roads. We have definitely need some prisons. Carry garrisons factor plus almost 10%. Wow. That's quite a bit. So probably 25 now. The unfortunate. There you go. No more stability, thank you. And happy October, everybody. Oh, we did our credit rating improved. Nice. So now we're only mediocre. We're not no longer poor. We're just mediocre. Huh. Improvement. Our duty to the people. The thief territory is found as a state dedicated to the Vodis v. Zonkon. Zonkon, the thieves in the law. However, with the recent conquest, we find ourselves ruling over millions of people that aren't included in our way of life. As leaders of a new proper nation, we must do something about our people. That's the least we can do now that they give us so much money in taxes. Oh, our means to be tricky. Very nice. Yeah, they exist. Look at that. Minus 0.27, very nice. And we're going to hopefully get this one done by the end of the episode, but we'll see. I'll do it to the people. There's a little bit, a little bit of stability, but that's okay. For now. Just for now. Squeeze them dry. Ooh, poverty gets worse than though. Your loyalty for survival. Rich victory, and those, aid those we protect. That's not bad. That's actually probably better, honestly. Um, thieves for charity. Yeah, this is definitely better on the left side here, completely. But we're trying to get more despotism, so we're going to go with this one. Squeeze them dry. <clears throat> who do we rule? Dudes, that's who. Not even a year ago, all those people wanted to kill us, and now they want to give us to give them things willy-nilly? What nonsense. Take their money and put them in the coffers. We'll see how much they want to complain after that. Maybe we lost a little bit of stability from that, but that's okay. I really don't want to risk from poverty, but more growth is always good, too. I want to invest in here, but it's going to cost so much at one point to just get everyone to do, like, to get all this stuff done again. There you go. Yay, more stability. So we have regulations, huh? sort of law, social, economic, minimum unemployment subsidies. That's actually not bad. Income taxation. Military, no. Political policies. Probably social policies. Education. There's about another small amount. Penal system. Stagnant, huh? Stagnant, doing uh, women's regulations. Token regulations. Moderate regulations. Public e education, whatnot. Okay. Sort of laws. View pollutions. Yeah. It's about what you expect. I don't see how bad this is going to hurt us, though. <coughs> uh, that's not terrible. Your loyalty for survival. The rats we rule over are just that, rats. They're just as quick to praise you as they are stabbing the back. If we want to rule these lands, we cannot show them silly things like mercy, human rights, or similar nonsense. If they want to live in our West Siberia, on our lands, they have to listen to us and only us. The thing only they deserve to live in is exchange is for the servitude. Okay, why not? Establishment or establish our legitimacy. Whether by fear or charity, we must establish ourselves as the rightful rulers of Russia, now that there are people to rule other than ourselves. With the people on our side, we might actually be able to achieve great things. The formation of a people focused Russia, a lasting global impression, and greatest of all, a unified Russia. 17 Hey, 5% growth, that's not bad. It's pretty decent. And now, this one over here. Calls for a thieves dictatorship. The current establishment is not conductive to a functioning state. In the time of chaos, the only thing that will save Russia is a strong one. Under the rule of, uh, of a powerful leader, the Vodi v. Zakon must mobilize into a force of authority, ensuring the security and prosperity of all of Russia's peoples. Nice. 
End of the power struggle. A thousand days, or really twenty days, for government takes action. Cool. There you go. Time for change. For the sake of a government, we must cater or send our folks on enforcing our power and building our people into a source of power. Resources and the protection of our status as, uh, as a vote is uh, as any other path will surely spell death for a new nation. Clear in the ranks. Extract from the armed forces. Radio chatter data redacted. Oh, this camera, who cares? Omega 5, base to target some move. I think he caught on that we're coming. Uh, base, you're free to engage him ASAP, Omega. Omega, but there are safeties around. You're free to engage. You capture the internal threat is more important. Understood? Engaging the target, and another one bites the dust. There you go. So, we, do we have to wait a thousand days for this? This guy's. excessive. There's, there's no more, huh? Seems very excessive. Resources? Sure. A nation of our own. Regardless of how we end up running the place, we must ensure that all people like us have a place at all. Whether by old or new ways, Russia will truly be a nation for us, whether the madmen, strongmen, pansies, jackboot lickers of the world like it or not. Yeah, we could. Let's get more war support. Alright, come on. Oh my god, who cares? Seriously, no one cares about Muscovine right now. I'm gonna make it lag even harder for it to pop out. Ausländische Besatzungsrat. Oh my god. TNO, come on. At least these guys are still killing each other. I mend it, China. A nation of our own. Follow up with prisoners no more. With so much done so quickly, we must look back and remember how much, how we got here. It's only through the ingenuity, bravery, and sacrifice of innumerable scoundrels that we're even able to be free, much less leaders of a nation. Because of them, the people of Russia will no longer be forced to wallow in poverty, be crushed under the jackboot, or starved under the hammer and sickle. No more will we be prisoners, and forever more uh, shall we be free. <clears throat> So then we'll do economic issue. Huh. Criminal businessmen. Found criminal corporations. It's kind of cool. Distribute mining contracts to all the Russian consortium. Getting our hands in the dirt. Getting corners. Probably be better. Ooh. Price controls. Ooh. Recolocalization. It's not bad. Consolidate smaller farms. That's not bad too. It's only sixty-six, so we got plenty of time. Um, probably the economic issue is probably the one we want to do. Yeah. The West Siberian region. Oh, oh. it's a land of great potential. Factories left over from Bukharan's attempts at modernizing the old Union can be found in every city. Vast forests cover the frigid countryside, and the earth here holds a trove of natural resources and oil. Or to be exploited for our benefit. However, it also is a region that has been mismanaged and torn apart by war. The Bolsheviks and Chimen ruined the land and starved their people through their laughable five year plan. The Black League stockpiled about guns without care for money, never thinking about profit once all that mattered to them was a fanatical great trial. Svedlovsk Junto was still tainted by Bolshevism and so it too suffered from economic issues. We, on the other hand, understand the power of profit. Soon we'll build new factories, create new corporations, and dig deep into earth until the West Siberia has money flowing out of its ears. You're not doing this one? 
Uh, opposites do not attract. Yeah. Elo stepped through the door of his office, dodging the blade that flew past his face. Who the F? Izula and slurred as he got from his seat. A sand reaching for the gun. Elo, on the other hand, smiling back at the great pecan. Oh, it's a tuxedo. Thunder uh, th thunder duty. Uh, Izula and he popped back into his seat. Clearly not a morning man, considering the slight hangover he c clearly had. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Izuliani. I've seen you've not lost your reflexes. Elo swiped some dust off his jacket and corrected his type machinery. No, 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 I haven't. And you don't want him to be used on you. You better start talking. Izuliani sneers as he pronounces the threat, taking a sip of his bottle. We both know the stupid situation the great pecan cut in. I would say strain, but that is beside the point. Elo walked up to the desk, placing a paper down. I've come to probe you if you were open to diplomatic resolution, hmm? Izuliani grimaced at Elo, standing, sitting back in his armchair. I know what Izuliani Uzu sees as himself as Ding Dong. He'd own everything if he could, and I don't see my life extending far beyond him taking power, any power. So whatever you have written, now go tell your sugar daddy that I'm not interested. Elo clenched his jaw, leaving the paper lying down. So you're not even considering looking at it? No. Elo blinked. Well, I suppose I should take my leave then. The right man turned on his seal. Yeah, and you take your blank piece of paper with you. Izuliani tossed the diplomatic solution, resolution across the room. Next time, have the balls at least take a fake, fake a call of, dip of diplomacy to me. To probe me. Elo did not respond, instead disappearing beyond the doors. Nothing unexpected. Yeah, that was, I think I said this last time. This is this is so long. Like, oh my god. Why did we wait like twelve hundred days? To protect Russia. Keep building. Happy April, everybody. Or growth. Growth. We want growth. Ranking in the riches. Ranking in the mid. Siberia, though seen by many foreigners, is a cold and foreboding place, unsuitable for human life. It's in fact teeming with the most fa fabulous qualities, the quantities of coal, precious metals, ores, and oil that one can imagine. Sad the Bolsheviks and confidence, a rapid warlordism, and the loop of a terror bombings were really heavily limited. The potential of this region, that ends now though. There are enough resources below our feet to ensure our prosperity forever. All we need is to grab the pickaxes and get our hands dirty, and the thieves will never have shied away from some good old hard work. Ability. Give him a bit of power, but that's not really helpful right now. We, manpower might be really good to get, though. Uh, we'll, why not? We'll grab one. Doing both those already, which is good. Happy May! Hey, you got finally better industrial expertise. Look at that. Beautiful. Influence, which would be good, and then uh, mafia run businesses. Back in the days of Bukharan's Union, the new economic policy allowed for limited private ownership, a small gem of prosperity within the Byzantine socialist system that ultimately proved worthless in the face of the German invaders. However, for the thieves, the NEP was their salvation, and many opportunistic businessmen came to be profitable associates of ours. We should copy this model, make sure that the thieves and our friends will have the necessary capital and economic freedom to ensure prosperity on their own terms. And finally. Probably should have looked at this before we actually clicked on everything, but whatever. Mafia run businesses. I'm not sure which one I want to do. This one is okay. I think I did this one last time, which is honestly better. But we're going to do the Army of the Thieves. Though we might have been shrewd in the fields of business, both legal and that of more criminal natures, the Army of the Thief territory is not much more than a ragtag militia. Only through shrewd tactics and trickery was our ill equipped forces able to unify our little corner of Russia. However, we may not be so lucky in the future. Our prospective enemies to our west and east possess professional militaries and a burgeoning military industry. If not modernize their own forces, and it's something that is worthy of being a true army, they will surely be crushed and our way of life may be lost forever. The grip of Kamenot is in just a stand. Our enemies grow, their forces, by the day, and so shall we. New soldiers shall be found and trained, new officers commissioned, no matter the price, and we shall acquire modern tanks, planes, and weaponry to fuel our conquests by enemies necessary. We thieves are at our hearts, those men that refuse to die out to this cold and hateful world, now shall show it all to its true masters are. Let none oppose us, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see what else we can do with the West Siberian Thief Territory. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.